Have you ever gone live and realized that, man, I'm I'm on the wrong channel. <laughs> I'm 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 pushing to the wrong page, or I forgot to include a page that I have in my system, but I just didn't set it up before before time. Um, in this video, I want to show you how you can edit your stream while you're live without going offline uh, to be able to include additional destinations in StreamYard. So that could be very useful for a lot of us out here. And if you're like me, you've experienced this before. So let's dive into it and let's figure out how it all works. I'm Kirk Nugent and I teach small businesses, faith-based entities, and entrepreneurs how to simplify live video mechanics so they can shine a floodlight on their brand. And in this video, we're gonna look at adding destinations while live, while live. Let's look at it. So here we are on my desktop uh, looking at StreamYard. Uh, we are live already on my YouTube page, all right? So I'm gonna just zoom in on this real quick, highlight this real quick. Right up here at the top, you can see that green check mark lets you know that you're live on your YouTube page. And another thing I wanna say here is that sometimes you have your destination set already, but some of them don't quite go live. Um, I've seen that happen before. And so sometimes you just come in here to the edit button right here, uh, to this edit button right here, to, and we click the edit and we can turn a destination off save and then turn it back on and save it um, that will help to to kick it off again so i'm just since i'm already live already live on my youtube page i'm just going to add an additional page i'm going to add this page here nobody's going to be notified i'm going to add click that just to add it you get a chance to look at the title change the title edit the title and the description and then we just click save changes to add that destination of course StreamYard does rec require, uh, sorry, Facebook does require a description. So you wanna make sure you have that in there, click save, and you'll see this thing circling in the top here, right at the top, you see that circling. Now it's got a green check mark, right? Now it's got a green check mark. And that green check mark means that it is live on that channel. And so what I'm gonna do right here is just click on it and click view on Facebook. And there I am on this page on Facebook. This is the video. This is a already live video where I'm editing um, while live, being able to add a destination. That is so cool. If we go back to StreamYard, I can go over to YouTube, view it on YouTube, and there we are live on YouTube as well. So we're live on YouTube, live on Facebook. These are, this is a clean and easy way to be able to do this. I'm hoping that you're tracking with, I'm gonna show you one more thing and then we're gonna get out of here. I've got a quick video for you today. Uh, if we want to go through and add another destination, again, we can just come here, click on the edit sign, click on edit, and we can add an additional destination. Here's a test group that I, I use, I'm just gonna say, I've got my description and my title here. It's gonna click save changes. And again, you see that circling up there, right? That's circling. Once it's done circling, it's live. So we can click there, click view on Facebook and say, all right, continue to Facebook. And here it is in the test group. This video is already live in the test group, which is so cool. So the 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 other thing, the uh, the reverse is also possible. Right, so you go live and somebody says, hey, you're live on the wrong channel. It happens to the best of us, it happened to me. Uh, you can come here and just click on remove. All right, you click on the one you wanna remove um, and just uncheck it. Delete from Facebook, remove. To delete the stream, it's saying you'll need to go to Facebook and delete it. That's okay, I'm gonna uncheck that box. I'm just gonna click remove. What I'm trying to do is to stop streaming to it right now, right? If I'm in the middle of a live video, a live stream, and I'm streaming to the wrong destination, I need to stop streaming to that destination, but I don't wanna stop my live stream, right? I don't wanna lose my studio. I don't wanna lose what I've got set up. I don't wanna lose the event, the description, the thumbnail, all that stuff. So I just wanna stop streaming to that one destination. So that's how you do that. And, and then you'd click save changes. 
and you're done. Look, we only have two destinations now. And again, if I want to come back through here, go to 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 remove uh, this this destination. Remember, you've got to actually come to the circle, the broadcast destination. Go to the circle, click that. Probably don't want to check the box that says delete on Facebook since that function is not working right now. And just click remove. Just make a mental note for yourself that I'm going to need to go back to those channels and hopefully you have admin access to them and delete those live streams once I'm done. And then I can continue broadcasting in this session the way that I am, the way that I was. Of course, hopefully I am broadcasting to the right destination. Man, sometimes they can be bite-sized. Sometimes they, be, they can be quick. And I'm hoping that this was useful for you want to make sure that these kinds of utilities, right? These, these are things, maybe you haven't come in, come up on this uh, type of scenario yet, right? You Maybe you're a little bit more uh, methodical with how you plan your streams, how you how you uh, your schedule your stuff in StreamYard, but I want to let you know that this, this is something that you can do. Uh, you don't have to delete your entire stream and start again if you have sent or streamed to the wrong destinations or you have excluded a destination that you intended to stream to in the first place. I wanted to make sure that you're aware of that. And I want to let you know that it's actually possible to do this in Restream as well. So look out for a video for that. Restream is what I use with Ecamm. So I'm going to show you how to do it with just Restream Live Studio and how to do it with Ecamm so that you can continue streaming not losing your stream, not losing your guest, not losing any of that momentum, but you can make sure you're actually broadcasting to the right platforms. It's your boy Kirk Nugent, the Geek Speaker Preacher, hoping that somewhere in the video today we got you a little closer to figuring out how it all works. <laughs> so excited for this journey we're on and excited that you're with us. Hopefully you've hit that subscribe button already. And if you haven't, we encourage you to do it right now because we got many more videos to come in this journey of live video strategy. We'll see you in the next video.